Hi loves, it's so important for us to commit and decide and to start living our lives in a new identity that we create for ourselves, like a version 2.0 or 10.0 or 100.0, wherever you're at on your journey, because where we're at and where we're wanting to be, there's a gap. And the more we can like decide that we're done being where we're at and we're committed to showing up and being this like next level version of ourselves and operating from that space, the more the universe rushes in to support us, which is awesome and amazing, and then the easier it is to just be like, this is who I am. This is a non-negotiable standard in my life. This is how I live my life now. And hi, Kova. <laughs> um, hi, Alicia. Hope you guys are having an awesome night. I am just doing this live because I felt like it was super strongly <laughs> called to doing it right now. I have been like reorganizing and cleaning and stuff in my room. So like this is my cleaning <laughs> outfit and stuff. But I'm like, oh my gosh, it keeps coming up so much. I have to like actually make a live about it. And hi, Karina and AJ and Shannon. Hope you guys are all having an awesome night. Hi, Donna. So I wanted to talk about this because any time in my life where I've decided something and I've just committed to it, things have happened exponentially faster than when I'm kind of like wishy-washy about it, where I'm like, I don't know if I should do that or if I shouldn't do that now or if I'm ready for it or like that's a lot of money or like when I have all these different thoughts in my head or if I like haven't planned it and scheduled it and put like creative force behind it, then things can kind of have that wishy-washy result of like, I kind of want to do this, but then I kind of want to do that. And it's kind of like taste testing the buffet of like what I want the quality and style of my life to be versus deciding fully that like, no, this is the next level version of myself. And it's happened so many times in my life, like when I decided that I wanted to be happier and that I was done burning out and I was done being single and not having time for my friends and not taking good care of my health and all those things like the universe showed up and was like here's a wellness expo with like tons of healers and options for you to do on your journey right now when I decided with my coach at the time that I was a full-time happiness coach and healer consistently making two thousand dollars a month that's what I was like this is who I am this is like the full embodiment of me even though it doesn't show up and look like this in my reality so I'm not gonna like go out and spout it to every person <laughs> and their dog right now because I don't have that level of confidence in it to like have other people's eyes on it or for them to be like judging it because that doesn't look like my reality right now but I would say that to myself it'd be a huge like affirmation and mantra that I would say consistently throughout my day I'd say it to my coach and the couple other people in my life at the time who were like into like the spiritual woo-woo burst world development stuff, but then everyone else didn't know what my dreams or desires or this new identity was, but I knew it and I was acting from that place. And within like less than a year, I became a happiness coach and healer. And then I was like, wow, this is really powerful. I'm gonna do this for the same things in every other area of my life. When I decided I was gonna do bigger expos, when I decided I wanted an office, when I decided that I wanted a laptop lifestyle last year, <laughs> a life in Wall of the Mastery, and I'm like, I decided I wanna travel more. I've decided these things and the universe shows up when I make that decision for myself and I act from that place. Like, <laughs> it's very interesting because even people who have like no idea my dreams and intentions and stuff, I'll like be magically synchronistically connected to them. And one of the first like identities I made for myself from like a Tony Robbins event, the new level version of myself was Lovely Laura. And people have like, <laughs> clients have nicknamed me that, other people have said that. Like people who had no idea that I like named myself that <laughs> as the next version of myself. And like I asked myself, how would Lovely Laura show up? Like these wouldn't be the thoughts in my head. It's very interesting because like that's also physically manifested in my life is like people being like, hi, lovely Laura, how are you doing? <laughs> like, it's beautiful that when we get like that powerful force and the universe is supporting us, everything just lines up. So I encourage you guys to like think of what your next level of desire is, what you've been like wanting to manifest or co-create and like name that version of yourself, like the person who gets up at a certain time in the morning or who doesn't smoke or who eats healthy or who loves herself or who shows up in their relationship or their family in a more loving way. Like name that version of yourself and like commit to showing up as that identity, like version 2.0 or whatever you want to call it, whatever like names resonating with you. And you might want to do like a meditation on it. I've just gotten names come to me, which I'm really grateful for. I've also like set intentions and meditated to be like, how would this, show up in my life? How can I start acting more to like get like that next best step for me? So I encourage you guys to take that time to get quiet and go inward when you need to, to get that like support in having more confidence that this is going to be the next level version of yourself. And this is what the support's going to look like. And 
how you should move an inspired action around that, that. That's like a whole other episode that I could do about like going inward and getting confirmation. And I might do that because a couple people were asking me about the difference between like intuition voice and fear voice. But I also want to get back to what I was doing. I really just wanted to share this like to commit and decide to not wish. Like I've been getting that a lot with like my more feminine posts and posting my boudoir photo shoots like people are like oh I wish I could have that kind of like body positivity or I wish I could be confident like that or I wish I could finally have a boyfriend instead of being single for the past decade like I wish and I love that you're connected to that wish and that desire in you but the wish energy is so much lower vibration than like I've decided that because I'm in your vibration because I'm seeing you embody this and I have this desire and it's being sparked in me I know it's for me I'm committing to this now I'm committing that this is going to be in my life of course it's going to be in my life I may not know the whole how and the path there now but like it's not on us to figure out the path like we don't have to know the how all we need to do is like focus on our heart's desires and be like yes this is for me I'm seeing other people in this world that it's possible for them that they've made this journey that they've gotten this far in their life so I'm just gonna like keep showing up I'm deciding that I'm now this version of myself who is confident who loves herself who loves other people who radiates joy I've decided I am this person and I'm going to continue showing up in my life like this so committing and deciding and like identifying yourself as that will put you to the next level so you're not in your fear and the like lower like level vibrations of like trying or like I've tried this or I've tried that instead of like I am doing it I've showed up like today I did one step forward and that's more than I've done any other day so like focusing on those things and like I love celebrating wins I'm all about celebrating those wins and doing that will also be really supportive on your journey so I really encourage you guys to like commit and if you want to commit right now in the comments for everyone who's on live commit to that one thing that you're feeling called to doing or commit to sharing with us what your like version 2.0 or 10.0 name is so we can like support and encourage you guys and celebrate your wins as you move forward on your journey and hi victoria and james and pamela and martin and holly and joshua and robin and ashley and kelsey and lila and julie and then kova said same the emotional release has been intense the last couple of days yeah, and I had a Reiki session and it was like incredible and then I had a follow-up call with her and it was all about like creating space in my life and this like goddess Freya energy, Freya energy came in and I went for a walk today and saw like a feather and it's all about feather energy too. So I'm like, okay, this is my sign that I need to like clear space and make space in my room and do the things that I had been called like getting like teeny nudges to do. I'm like, okay, this is time for it now, I'm making time for it now. Then I'm also making time to chat with you, lovely ladies and lovely people. Uh, hi, Donna. Hi, Karina. Okay, I think I've said everyone now. <laughs> and Sebastian wanted to say hi if you can hear him in the background. So yeah, put in the comments. And if you don't want to put in the comments, like put it on a post note, put it as a reminder on your phone. Like this is who I am. I'm the version 2.0 of my life. I'm happier. I'm more joyful. I'm blissful. I'm healthy. Or I'm peaceful. I'm happy, like whatever word or affirmation you're like resonating with, do something so that you're moving forward on your journey. And he's like all about attention. He's like, I would really like you to pay attention with me right now. <laughs> so like, say that, like I'm shining my light. I'm speaking my truth. I am whatever you need to around that. Yeah, he's now like knocking my crystals on the floor. He wants attention. <laughs> anyway, but if you guys have decided that you want to be more blissful and that you are moving forward on your blissful journey that you no longer want to identify as broken or a victim or anything negative in your life that you're deciding that you are more than worthy of being this next level version of yourself i'm here to support you i did a free masterclass the other day and if you want a link to that you can put a comment below and i'll put that um, replay in there so you guys can have access to it it's literally step by steps of how I've gone in my life from broken to blissful, how I had those old identities and negative belief systems to where I'm at now, where I am blissful and happy and euphoric and enjoying all the incredible love in my life. So we talked in detail during that like hour about loving yourself, healing your past, and loving your partner. So loving the relationships around you. And we also did really awesome blissful downloads. So I'll put that in the comments so you guys can have that. So that if you decide that you are a more blissful person and that you are a more loving person and that you're a more healthy, happy person, then that can support you on your journey. So I'm sending you guys all so much love. Bye.